This is all about Erica Jane and Lisa Renna. Will their friendship last? I don't think so. So this is according to Reality Blurb. Erica Jane talks filming Real Housewives of Beverly Hills without Lisa Renna and shares update on legal woes. Plus, she teases new Las Vegas show. Why do they keep giving Erica Jane a job? I don't know, but let's get into it. Erica Jane is speaking out about filming The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 without her longtime friend and co-star Lisa Renna. While attending Wednesday's Billboard Women and Music Awards Gala in Los Angeles with her legal counsel entertainment lawyer, Dina LaPolt. Erica discussed the new season, which went into production last month. She also teased an upcoming show in Las Vegas. Side note. Do you guys notice that the only people around Erica are people that she pays? Including Lisa Renna. So remember the word on the street was that Erica Jane gave Lisa Renna $5 million to invest in Renna Beauty. Whether it was really to invest or to help, you know, m launder the money. I'm sure Lisa Renna got some form of a kickback. So that's her one friend there. She hangs out with Mikey, right? She pays him. He's the creative director. She hangs out with Jack, her publicist, but she pays him. He's the publicist. He's getting a check. She hangs out with her glam squad. They're all getting a check. And she's going to this event with her entertainment lawyer, who she, I'm sure she has on a retainer, so she's getting a check. So do, so do you see how everybody in Lisa Renna's life, and not Lisa Renna, Erica Jane's right, life, is on her payroll, rather on the victim's payroll. Because where is Erica Jane getting this money from? I'll wait. Okay, here we go. She goes, you know, I miss my friend. I do. But I know that she's off doing great things. Erica told Entertainment Tonight of Lisa on March 1st. She's going to be missed. But hey, the show must go on. And we're going to have a great season. We've been together as a group three years or three times so far. So good. Shut up, Erica. Since the start of filming in February, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast has been spotted together at lunch hosted by Dorit Kimsley and at the 40th, 40th birthday party of Crystal Kong Minkoff. But that doesn't mean it will hold for long. So I'm just going to have a good time. I'm happy to be here tonight. And that's all I can say, Erica continued. Moving on to her legal drama, Erica said that when it comes to her future, the fact that things are looking up, quote, looks like heaven. Mm-hmm. It looks like peace and it looks like it's coming, she added. It, yeah, if you're going to find peace inside a jail cell with an orange jumpsuit, because they're coming for you, Erica. They're coming for you. I don't think you're getting out of this scot-free. You better enjoy it while it lasts. I think they're coming from you. If nobody gets you, Uncle Sam will. Uncle Sam will. Let's keep going. And when she asked about the next chapter in her life, Erica said she hopes to feel, quote, amazing, free, and ready, ready to stand in my own power for once. What the hell have you been doing this entire time, Erica? Screaming at people, saying you don't give a damn about anybody but yourself? The, quote, alleged victims? Girl, bye. And that the only person they're supposed to care about is you? Yelling at people, threatening Dorit, being like, I'm going to expose you if you don't shut up. That's basically what she told Dorit. And Dorit fell all the way in line. Had poor Kyle having a break, a nervous breakdown anxiety attack. Cussing out Garcelle's son. Trying to sleep with Garcelle's other son. Doing Bachgate, this, that, and the third. If you haven't been, quote, standing in your own power, what the hell have you been doing this whole time, Erica? Ridiculous. What kills me is how the most atrocious people, the most manipulative using people, always some way really tries to be the victim. I'm going to stand in my own power for once. Like, what are you talking about? For the last, like, 20 years, the last two decades, you've been living a ridiculous, luxurious, extravagant life off of the backs of victims with blood money. But yet you're the victim in this situation and you still live in a multi-million dollar mansion here in LA. I think she lives over there in West Hollywood. 
what like West Hollywood, Beverly Hills adjacent. She doesn't live in Beverly Hills anymore, but it's a multi-million dollar home. You're still jet setting. You're going to Paris week, this, that, and the third. You have a glam squad. What the hell are you talking about? It's absolutely insane to me. You still live better than the rest of like the 98% of the world. Ugh, I can't handle it. Let's keep going. Over the past couple of years, Erica has been tied to a number of lawsuits due to the fraud crimes of her estranged husband, Thomas Girardi, who is accused of stealing millions from her former clients to, dis- to sustain their over-the-top lifestyle. Also at the event, Erica spoke to E! News, suggesting that she would soon be returning to the stage. I can't tell you a lot other than what can I tell what can you tell us, Erica said as she turned to Dina. It's going to be in Las Vegas and it's going to be amazing, the attorney replied. It's going to feature Erica and it's going to be original and we're building it. Shut up, Dina the lawyer. Anyway, here we go. Although the ladies didn't say if Erica's on stage return would be a full Las Vegas residency or a one time showing, it seems safe to say that she'll be getting back to performing soon. And if she does, I hope they garnish her wages and they give it all to the victims. Or this could be a phantom job like Lisa Renna's phantom jobs. We're still waiting on that movie you allegedly booked, Lisa. What was that movie? Hmm? We'll wait. As Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fan will recall, Erica enjoyed a stint as Roxy Hart in Broadway's Chicago, a role previously held by Lisa Renna in 2007. In 2020, before her run was unfortunately cut short by the pandemic. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 is expected to premiere on Bravo sometime later this year. And I cannot wait for it to actually come back. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right. All right. All right. So I want to know what you guys think. What do you think about this? You know, Erica Jane still being the perpetual victim. And do you think this, you know, Las Vegas stint is real? What do you think about that? And also, what do you think about everybody in her life being on the payroll? We've never been introduced, at least I can't remember, to anybody in Erica Jane's life that has not been paid to be there. And do you think she will ever be held accountable for the fraud and the schemes and all of that? What do you think is going to happen with this $25 million lawsuit against her with the trustees? And she also has a over $2 million lawsuit against her from um, Uncle Sam. So put that down below. You know, let me know what you guys think. And also, what do you think is going to ultimately happen between her, quote, friendship with Lisa Renna? I think it's going to, there's going to be the demise of their friendship. I think something is going to happen, whether it's Lisa Renna's resentment that Erica Jane gets to stay on the show, or if it's going to be Erica Jane no longer finding Lisa Renna useful, and there's going to be some big falling out. And it's going to play out where it always plays out, on social media, especially because Lisa Renna is banned from filming even as a friend or a cameo on the show but I think it'll play out in social media. I give it a couple of months. I give it a couple months, but I, I think it's going to be a big blow up. It might even start out as like a ploy. <laughs> you know, it might even start out as like a ploy, but it's going to get real because I don't think this friendship is sustainable outside of the show of what they can do for each other. But put it down below and let me know what you guys think. Stick around my candy canes. I'm going to take a couple of your candy canes questions and comments before we head out. But as always, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% free if you're into self-care and self-love and wellness content. So with that, you guys, let's take some of your candy candy questions and comments before I go and prep... Um, for Vanderpump Rules, because the black is hot, the black is hot. But I want to give you guys some shout outs before we head out. Hey, Sierra, 